Okay, everybody, so really quick, um, I'd just like to say that this is a very long video. I got lost into uh, talking about flashlights, but it's a very long video. I apologize, but there's going to be a special coming out soon. Uh, well, tomorrow, uh, if you're seeing this video when it comes out, uh, I'm going to attempt to cook chicken in a cast iron pot on the fire pit. So, yeah, I'm sorry for the super long video. Uh, the screen won't be green in a second, but... If you want to look at these flashlights, I really recommend you do if you're into flashlights. But I really apologize for such a very, very long video. So, thank you for watching. Hey everybody, welcome back. So, today we're doing another review on a uh, Olight light. Actually, four of them. Uh, we've already done a review on one of them. It's a tiny, tiny one. But, you guys want to watch this. There's two really nice lights who sent me, once again. And, I can't thank Olight enough for sending me lights recently. Um, you know, they just sent them to me, review. There's no cost, but um, pretty much the link that I leave down below is if someone buys a light with the link that I have there, then I'll make kickback back off of it, like a little bit of money off it. So I can't thank them enough. They're helping with like when I go camping and when I'm outside or whatever. They, they do help. I mean, the last two camping videos I've used them. So it's really nice that they help me out. And uh, they're really nice lights. Like, I do stand behind them. I mean, the one I had, I threw it around and everything. It's still fine. So, like I said, I get kickback from that. I'm not paid to say anything here, though. And I don't want you guys to go and buy a light just because I get kickback from it. Only get one if you truly believe, you know, you want the light. So, I'm going to try to do the most in-depth review I can on this here. I'm not like a flashlight genius, but, I mean, the stuff they sent about the lights uh i have to tell you guys so we'll do a nighttime review and i'll show you on the table here so let's go and unbox them there's a couple of lights we gotta get to them now also guys if you're wondering uh yeah tom and the chickens come in the house for a little bit so if you hear anything that's what's in here tom and the chickens <laughs> okay guys so i'm on the table now tom's over right next to me in the house and uh pretty much I'm going to have to keep looking over here just to make sure I get everything right because there's a lot of details about the sale. But pretty much they're doing Black Friday and there's a couple other dates they're doing uh, for certain lights. So yeah, there's a couple of really nice lights. They look nice. I, I know the one is huge. This, this light is huge. So uh, yeah, like I said, it's going to be a sale. Um, but I'm going to have to look here just to make sure I don't say false information. But uh, it says every new customer will get a free gift. The i3e, which is right here. It's a mini pocket flashlight, which we'll do first. I have a couple of big flashlights to do still, so stick around. But that's the one you get free with the purchase. And any old customer that is already bought from them and they go ahead and buy, uh, they're going to get an i1r too. Now, I don't have one of those in hand. But um, pretty much, uh, it's on the website if you want to check it out. So any new customer will get this one right here free. So we're going to get into this first. And then we'll just move on like that. So just going to pull the tab off here. I got my Nicholas Grant Doors uh, dog tag on. But I like how they op you know, the box is open. You pull a tab and then it just rips the lid off. So, that's how it comes in the package. So, just open that up. Just a simple little keychain light. But I tell you what, I did see a video on this, and it's really nice. So, put that over there. But we'll do nighttime reviews on all of these. So, we'll be able to see. Uh, make sure there's no, uh, there it is. I got it out. There was a, a little protector on the light. This may be a long video, but I want to make sure I talk, you know, thoroughly on these lights because they're decent lights right here. So, you can see, you know, decent flashlight. I mean, you get that free if you order, so it's a nice little bonus, actually. I'll, t I'll talk about the dates the sale is going in a minute here, but yeah, look at that. So, I mean, it's a nice little keychain light. We're going to review that later. But, I mean, free if you order. That's nice. So, moving down the list, 
uh, there's going to be the Seeker 2 Pro Orange. And pretty much it's a Seeker 2 Pro, which has been around for a little bit now. And they're going to turn it orange. And there's going to be a very good discount on it. So it's going to be 30% off. And this sale for this light I'm going to show you in a second here will be November 28th and December 1st. A whole four days. So it goes from the 28th to the 1st. Yeah. So 28th of November 2019 till December 1st, you will be able to get this light right here for 30% off. It's originally 150 and it's going to be on sale for $99.95. So you can get two a person, but I mean, unless you're getting one for a gift, it's a heck of a gift. Uh, <laughs> you shouldn't get this as a gift. It's, you know, pretty expensive. So you'd probably be getting one anyway. So yeah, actually, no, I mean, a hundred bucks is a good deal on a light this big. This thing is very big. So, I refer you guys to the light over here if you're getting it as a gift. It's just a little cheaper. But this one here is a very nice light. I did see video reviews on this from other people already. But we're going to open it up. And pretty much, there's a bundle. You can get this 40% off and an i3T tan. So, I don't have that in hand either. But you can get an i3T desert tan color with this for $103, so $103.14. So, I mean, you get this, you know, that off, and you get the little light with it. So, I looked at the light on the website. It's a decent little light. If you want more details, you can click down below and you can check it out. But pretty much, it's just a nice little pocket light you can get with this. I mean, what is it? A little over $3 extra to get that and this together in the bundle. So, I mean, obviously go for that one. So, let's open this up. This light is actually very big. Like, there's my hand, you know. It's a big box and it's decently heavy. So, let's open it up. Don't wanna bore you guys. Take that off there. This is an old fan mail scent knife. So there we go. Slide this out of here. Is it tied or something? Hold on. Oh, what am I, <laughs> I, I wasn't thinking. Wait, is that magnetic? Oh, okay. So this is a nice hard case, actually. It's magnetic there, so if you actually wanted to keep this in this box, you could. So, I really like Olight for their display of the box. They do a really good job with that. It's always really nice. Pretty much just says, uh, you know, charge it. There's an insulating film, you know, stuff like that. And then in the box box inside here, there is, I'm guessing this is a charger. Yep, okay, here's the charger. So, to anyone that doesn't know about Olight, a lot of their, pretty much almost all of their lights come with a magnetic charger. And this thing is very strong. It's a very strong charger, I can tell you that now. And it charges decently fast compared to my other light, my Phoenix I have. It charges really fast, and it takes like the same size battery. I'm talking about the other light I have, the green one. So, what's this in here? Is this a cloth? Oh, okay, a microfiber cleaning cloth. That's a nice add-in. It's always helpful to have one of them. And then we're gonna move into this box. Is this the, uh, okay. This is, I don't know exactly what it was, but I did see this on the website. And I know you can charge through it. I think it's a, okay, so it's a connector. If you wanna have your light, I'll show you in a second. But it's a connector that the charger will charge through. So if you have that, you know, you have your charger under there, it's still gonna charge through. And it comes with screws, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it comes with screws and there's 3M here so you can mount it. So that's very nice. So I'll show you in a second how that clips on once we get the light out. But yeah, we have that accessory with it, a nice charger, microfiber cleaning cloth, and what else do we have here? I think it's just extra, okay, these are just mounts for that, so we'll set those there too. So let's move this box out of the way. I'm probably gonna keep this box just for the fact of how hard it is, and it has magnetic connectors, so I probably will keep this box in the end. Uh, there's a manual, I don't need the manual pretty self-explanatory. I mean, keep that unless, you know, just in case something happens or whatever. 
but nice it comes with this case here now I did not know about it coming with the case I didn't know about this at all so pretty much it's just a buckle case and it's got a little strap here you can connect it to your belt see that there nice I, I kid you not this thing's a good pound it's, it's pretty heavy it's not too too heavy but I mean for the size it's about right so just take that out of the connector there and right inside we have our lights so this is the secret too and you can only get this orange it's a special edition you can only get this color right now <clears throat> well when the sale goes on the 28th till first so you can see there's three LEDs in there that's nice just a nice little carrying case they add you know quite a bit of accessories with this like there's no need for them to add this but they did one thing I do notice though, straight out of the box, is there isn't a uh, one of the hooks on it that is on like some of their normal lights, the smaller ones. But they include this case so you can carry it that way. Because this is a decently sized uh, flashlight. Like if I was to put this in my pocket, I mean it'd be kind of baggy. So <clears throat> unless you have like a tactical coat or whatever, but that's why they included this so you can carry it in that, keep it nice. So, there is the light straight out of the box, straight out of the bag in the box. Very nice color. I really enjoy orange. Like, you can see I always wear this kind of colors and stuff. I really enjoy this orange color. I prefer this over black or whatever. But, it's got a very nice grip on it. Very nice grip. I know this is the first light I've had from them that actually has, you know, a grip like that. So you don't drop it. And it's also got, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's little waves here to put your fingers over. So you get a really nice firm grip on this. And real quick, we gotta take out the uh, battery. The, the little piece of plastic <laughs> stops the battery from going. But there's the charger on the back of this light. I love their chargers. Like I know there's some things I've had that have a magnetic charger and it's very weak and it just falls off. But I noticed though like it's a very, very firm hold. So the battery this takes is pretty big. It comes with a battery though, so you don't gotta worry about that. It's a 3.6 volt, 5,000 milliamp, 21700. So you don't gotta buy batteries for a lot of Olights and this one included. So there is that. It's a nice hefty battery actually. I mean, you're gonna need a hefty battery for a light like this. So, I gotta go down this way. Okay guys, so sorry for that. Sorry for the cut there. I put the battery in backwards. Didn't turn the light on properly, so it didn't come on. I thought it was still in backwards. Put it back, and then I realized that, and then I put it back again, so I cut all that out. But here's the light with that pulled out. Obviously nothing changed except it can do light now so all you gotta do is click the button and hold it and that puts on this mode like I said there's gonna be a, a nighttime review so if there's certain lights you want to skip past and get to that you can but there's that on my hand all you gotta do is hold the button a little bit and it amps it up okay so the first mode that you saw there was moon or no I don't think that's moon no, I don't think that's moon. So this is low right here. Or no, this is medium. So medium is 300 lumens and it can run on a full charge for nine and a half hours. And the beam is good for 70 meters. So that's really good actually for medium. I mean, nine and a half hours, if you went camping, you wouldn't even need this much. Like I said, nighttime review on this. So we'll just go past settings here. Amp it up. It's now at high mode. So that is 1200 lumens and it can run to, or what's that mean? It can run for 110 minutes. It's kind of confusing how they word it here. It can run for 110 minutes. It's on the back of the box. Um, and that's a 150 meter beam. So that's good. <laughs> My hand being here, it gets warm too. But this whole wall over here, you can't see it lights up. So now if we amp it up, it goes to turbo. 
So this is turbo, like very good. You can't see, it doesn't you know go like crazy right here, but the beam it puts on the wall and stuff is outrageous. So now if I hold it again, it will go to turbo, or it won't go to turbo, that was turbo that you just saw. It will go to moon mode. So turbo would run for 150 minutes and it runs at 3200 lumens. So that's very good. I mean, especially for a hundred dollars, you know, since it's on sale, I can see so many lights that are under that, uh, and they're about a hundred, like lumen-wise. So yeah, we'll do a nighttime review on this. It's a very nice light. It looks very durable, and uh, that's the moonlight mode, guys. Thought I'd show you. If you hold the button, it does that. That's the moonlight mode. So. Moonlight runs for 12 days straight, and it does a 10 meter, you know, distance. I mean, it's moonlight mode. What do you expect? And it runs at five lumens. So you can have moonlight on, moonlight mode on for five minutes. Or <laughs> I'm so confused. Pretty much, you have five lumens in moonlight mode, and it runs for 12 days. So if you're in a campsite or anything like that, and you're trying to move around at night. I mean, like in your tent and everything. I'll get you the phone. Right back. Apologize for that, guys. Something cold. But it's a very durable light. Has all the settings. Like I said, I'll do a more in-depth uh, review on the light later when it's dark out, so you can actually see what it does. But uh, yeah, it also has strobe light. See that there? <laughs> very nice strobe light. If you want to blind someone, they're trying to steal or whatever. There you go. You can blind them. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Like I said, this is going to sit until later. I don't want to make this video too, too long. So that's going to sit over here. <clears throat> but now, <clears throat> there's something in my throat. There's a frog in my throat. So now we're going to move on. There is another light over here with its light that would come with it if you got the bundle. And pretty much, it is right here. It's the S1R red, or the, yeah, the S1R2 red. So it's got a very nice red color if it looks like it looks on the box. There it is right there. This is the one I'd recommend as a gift. Uh, if you guys enjoy, you can see later the light it does. But pretty much, it's going to be 30% off. And the flash sale date for this is December 2nd only. So all day December 2nd, you can only get this light for that, you know, percent off. So these are pretty much their holiday deals, you know, they do every year. But uh, this is a very nice gift. Like, I'd enjoy getting this. And the reason I'm saying that is because now it's going to be, sorry about that, uh, originally, you know, the regular price is $69.95, and the sales price is going to be $48.97. Now, I know that's, you know, still a decent amount of money, but, I mean, if it's someone close or whatever, you know, it's a nice gift, or for yourself, really. Uh, I can't wait to see the Seeker, how far that goes, but I know this is a nice, you know, even this is a decent flashlight to have around, and in a red color if you like red, so... If you want this, like I said, it's going to be $48.97 instead of the original $69.95. And if you want, I keep getting mixed up. <laughs> if you want the bundle with this light and the i3 UV, which is this light right here, it comes in this box right here. It's a UV flashlight, a keychain one you can take around anywhere. And a lot of uses for it, but. You can see there it's got this little blue light, UV. Just a nice little decent UV light, if you guys know what the UV is. You see that? You can see the color it does. So, I just did a review on this one. If you want to look in detail on this one, uh, you can see the other video I just did a couple weeks ago. So, yeah, like I said, it comes in this nice little box. So, you get that little box. So, I'm just calling again. <laughs> okay, guys, sorry about that. People keep calling. I don't know why every time I come out here people call. But, uh, yeah. Pretty much just a nice little light, uh, and the reason I'm saying that you can get that with it is because if you don't just want the light, and this is only a couple dollars more, like, if, if you get this light, like, once again, like the last bundle I'm talking about, the Seeker, uh, it's worth spending, like, the couple of dollars more, or a little over a dollar, to get the light. So, exactly, so I'm exact on it, uh, it's going to be 40% off if you get the bundle, and... The regular price is $84.90, and the sales price is going to be 
So, or no, not $59, $50.94 if you wanna get this and this in a bundle. So if you wanna get those two, you know, $50.94. So just a little over $50 you can get this. And if you just want this, it's gonna be $48.97. So obviously, if you get it, gift or whatnot, or for yourself, you're gonna to wanna to get the bundle, because why not? So, we're gonna open this. Like I said, if you wanna see this, it's in the last Olight video I did. But we're gonna get right in this box, because I don't wanna make this too, too long for you guys, because uh, I do wanna do an in-depth review outside. So, let's open this box. Another nice presentation from Olight, once again. Wow, that looks nice. That looks really nice, guys. I'm really not, like, that's sharp. Wow. This really reminds me of Christmas. I can tell you that right now. And the charger's red. Wow. So this is a very sharp-looking light, guys. Very, very sharp. So out of box, this is what you're looking at. Look how nice. It's got the nice gold lining. It's got the nice gold clip. And it even looks like on this, like, on the front and on the uh, button here, it's got gold lining around it. So look how sharp that is. I don't know, this, this really reminds me of Christmas, this light. I think that's probably what they're aiming for. But I tell you what, if you're looking for a gift, you know, a little over $50, this is very sharp, very sharp. Wish I had something to compare this with, but it is pretty small, but I have seen videos on this exact light, and it's very nice. I don't know, I might actually order one of these for someone, because it's very sharp. It also comes with its little holder here that you just thread through the bottom. See, it's a nice little red hanger. Now, I do personally, I, didn't, I never thought I'd use one of these hangers because they drove me nuts. But the last light Olight sent me, I went ahead and put the thing through it. And when I was camping, I could just hang it on my tripod, my camera tripod. So I'm glad I did that. But now, all right, there we go. I'll finish that. I know I did it wrong, but just so you guys could see, I just stuck it in there for now. But it's got a nice little hanger. It says Olight on it. And this light is so nice. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I know it's just a flashlight, but the colors on this are unreal. Obviously, when you're camping, it's going to get all muddy, so you won't see them then. But if this is for around the house and everything, you'll still see those nice colors. Oh, and I'd like to mention, it has a very nice grip on it here, as usual. And on the back, it's, you know, once again, it's the magnetic charging. So, just take that top off, get that out of there. It's got a decent-sized little chunky battery. That's the battery it takes. Pretty much the whole flashlight is a battery. So, just got to screw this in. Wow, this is a very sharp light. Like, I'm not just saying that. It really is. So, also, I'd like to mention... Oh, what's this case for? There's a case in here. I don't know what it's for, though. Oh, store the battery in the box after being taken out from the product. So, is this just a battery storage case for this battery? Let's take that out really quick and check. Must be. Is that what it is? It come with this, so it's gotta be. Is it? Oh, it is. So it looks like you can hold two batteries in here. So if you were to buy extra batteries from Olight, it comes with its own little uh, case to hold the battery in. So you can hold two in there, it looks like. So that's a nice little addition. I like how all the additions that, you know, or like gives you're gonna pretty much use. I don't know how I'm gonna uh, personally use the mounting bracket for the uh, the light over here, but you know I'll have to see over time. So set that over there. Nice little battery storage case. Once again, that's a very nice addition. But this thing weighs like nothing without this little chunky battery. So let's see if I can get the light in the right way this time without cutting seven times. Okay hey guys, so <laughs> I did end up having to uh, swap the battery again. I always get them confused. I don't know why. Every time that happens. But we'll skid over everything else in here really quick before we do the light. I took the strap off so it won't keep getting in the way right now as I'm trying to like show the paint and stuff on it. But set that over there. And Olight didn't like tell me to like say this thing's sharp or anything. It's just, it's so nice. Like this is a light I'd personally 
real, you know, actually go out and buy. So, like I said, it comes with a magnetic charger as usual. This charger is a nice, once again, nice, like cranberry looking red. It's very sharp and it's got the magnet on that side. And like I said, just pop that on, there you go. Plug it in, just like that, just USB. There you go. So, I love their chargers, can't beat them. And this one comes with the Olight little sack here to put your lights in. And I, I've seen reviews of people saying they don't use these and they use them for other stuff. But I've personally actually used this for my lights. I've stored my lights when I went camping the other night. I stored them right in this bag and this is a very nice handy bag. You can put a carabiner, it looks like on this side. I just, you know, put my light in and then shut it. There you go, I threw it in my camp bag. So, everything would fit in here. Obviously the seeker is not gonna fit in here, but that's why it has its own case. So, that would fit right in there. Everything you need would fit in there. But, real quick, we'll go through settings. Okay, so it started on highest setting. But this light is very bright. So, let's get the box really quick to make sure I get the lumens right. But, you can see on my hand, that's the first setting. And now that is, that's not moon mode. Okay, this is low. This is 12 lumens. And it can run for 20 hours at this. And the distance is 15 meters for this. So, nice little setting. The walk around the house or whatever, or outside, this, this would be fine, honestly. Really would. So, if you wanna amp it up a little bit, you're gonna go to medium. That's your medium setting. Now, medium is 60 lumens and it can run for three hours and 40 minutes on 60 lumens. You know, maybe a little under that, you know, they might have rated it straight to the point, but still, I mean, even if it was under three hours and 40 minutes, that's a long time. See Tom over here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 40 meters on this. So that's a good distance. I mean, if you want a little bit brighter when you're walking outside, there you go. Now, if you up it up again, it takes it to high. And this is, wow, 600 lumens. So one and a half, <laughs> one and a half hours to 45 minutes. So I don't know what they mean on that. It's probably how you run it. So I'd say like 45 minutes on this mode and it'd probably go, or an hour 45 minutes, you know. I'm not gonna say exactly. I mean, if you guys wanna look, you have to look. So this is actually, I don't know. If you compare this to the Seeker, this, I mean, the beams doesn't, you know, it doesn't go as far. That's the difference between this and that. But I tell you what, this lightens up that wall as much as the Seeker did on like one of the smaller settings. So that's pretty good for this little tiny light. Obviously, you're gonna waste a lot of battery if you run it this high all the time, so. We're gonna amp it up again. Oh, okay, so I had that wrong. That was the, uh, there we go. That was the high setting. And pretty much, if you guys are wondering how I swap through, all you gotta do is hold the button. Oh, and once again, all of these lights have a battery indicator so if you look here this one has a battery indicator I forgot to show you that on the seeker thought I'd show you that real quick turn that off it's a single click to turn these off this is kind of heating up but I have it on turbo right now so this is the turbo mode guys this is the thousand lumens is right here but that's a very nice output for this light. I'd say this kind of levels out with the high mode on the seeker, but it just doesn't throw as far, you know, the beam. So, yeah. Like I said, guys, if you enjoy the review so far, let me know. Uh, I know some people don't, you know, enjoy the reviews. I'm sorry. Uh, but this does really help the channel uh, with these lights. And, I mean, there is a little bit of kickback if you guys use the link down below. So, if you use the link down below to get these lights, if you do, or even if you just check them out, uh, it helps me out. So, like I said though, if I was to uh, prefer any of this here that I've shown so far, I would prefer getting this as a gift because it's a nice little compact light. It's a simple light. It's a very nice color. And it does match holidays, but I mean, you shouldn't buy a light just because it matches the holidays. You should get it because it works. So, yeah, very nice little light. I mean, compared to the Seeker, look how, look how big that is. 
yeah, big difference. So this is a nice battery holder, big beam, and this is a nice little compact carry around low, uh, you know, smaller battery. But there you go. So let's get outside and do the outside review of these three lights here. Where'd I set the uh, little one? Where'd I set them? I set the, oh, there he is. So these three lights right here are going to be tested outside now. And uh, I'll show you more on them outside. So I'll see you later. It's going to be about five hours until you see me again. But yeah, I'm going to charge these up and uh, I'll see you outside. We can do a nice test on them. Okay, guys, I forgot to mention real quick as this big old cat comes over here. This is Smitty. Um, I forgot to mention really quick. There's free gifts that you get if you spend so much. And pretty much like I said already, every new customer that signs in, a new customer, not returning, you're going to get this right here, the i3e. So you're gonna get that, it's a nice little light. Little keychain, real nice, even if you get the little light, just think you're gonna have the uh, this light here and this one if you're a new customer and the red light if you get the bundle. So, yeah. And if you spend over 99, you get the i1R2. It's a $15 light, you get it free. I'm rounding up a little bit too on these, you know. Uh, if you spend over $199, you get an S2R2, $70 light, and you get that free. So, I mean, 200 if you were <clears throat> to get two seekers or whatever, uh, you're gonna get a free, these are good deals, guys, like, really. A free S2R2. So, I did already have S2R2, where is it? Uh, this is an S2R2. That's the baton. Where is it? Let me find it for you guys, I gotta show you. Okay guys, so this is what you'd be getting if you spent uh, 200. It's a $70 light. Nice little light. That's what you get. It wouldn't be green, keep that in mind. This was a limited edition once again. When they do limited editions, you know, they pretty much don't bring them back. So if you want the color, you get it when it comes out. But it won't be green, but that's pretty much what you get. And if you spend over 300, you get a Seeker 2 black. It's not the pro one, but it's gonna be this, and it's gonna be the black edition. So this, black coloring, and it won't be the pro. So you get that. Now, if you move up and you spend 400, I'm sure a lot of you guys aren't gonna be spending this much, but I mean, you know, if anyone did, uh, you're gonna get a Warrior times black. So it's gonna be the Black Warrior, or Warrior X black. So I actually, I've never heard of the light, so you guys have to check it out if you want to. But it's $129 light and you get it free. If you spend over 600, you know, 599, you get a Javelot Pro Black. So, that's a nice one. I think they got the pricing wrong on here because I know it's not $69, but I know it's a very nice light and it's a big, big one like this. So, you have to check it out. They said $69.95, but I'm pretty sure it's quite a bit over that. So, yeah. Let's go outside. Sorry for this being so long already, but I wanted to make sure I got the lights correctly and everything. So, yeah, I will see you out back once again. <laughs> Tom? Psh, psh, psh. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you going to be our tran translation here between clips? <laughs> You're our transition, Tom. How about that? Okay guys, so we're outside right now. I'm walking up to the spot. Um, and the reason I'm using my phone light right now is so you can see. Um, I'm being a little quiet for a second here until I pass my uh, dad's window he's sleeping. But I think it's like 11.30 out right now. I waited till now. But this is my phone light. So we're gonna do the test out here now. It's pitch black and there's a huge field. See, this doesn't go far at all, this is my phone. So we're gonna start the review on this, uh, on the lights here. So uh, I don't spend too much time talking, but we're just gonna do a simple test on these. Just run through the settings. Three lights we're doing right now. Obviously the UV light, you know, there's nothing to really show. So, put this in my pocket. So I just took out the Secret 2 Pro. Uh, this is the main, you know, the main flashlight of this video, like a big one. Trying to get this holster in my pocket. These pockets are really small. But here we go. I'm using my phone light just because they're all in my pocket. So I don't have a light out right now. But 
there it is. It's not going to really focus well, I guarantee it. But there's the secret too. So, time to shut off my phone light and uh, show you what this thing can do. So, you can see the, <laughs> the field's pitch black. This is a giant field too. So, we're going to turn on, click the button once. Okay, so that's the first setting it's on when I turn it on. It'll focus in. Just got to give it a second. So, you guys may not be able to see it. But I can see that it's actually lighting the shutup. Oh, and also I'd like to mention, guys, right now it's very foggy outside. Like it's not like a normal, you know, like you'd normally use it. So this is just beaming straight through it. But you can see that's the first mode. When you first turn it on and it's not set to a higher one. This is the low setting. Look at that. Wow. Beam straight across that field. Now we're going to amp it up, hold the button. It's amped up. Holy cow. It looks like there's an animal down at the feeder. You guys can clearly see the building. Guys, there's a raccoon down there. Unreal. I can literally see with this light. All the way down to my feeder, I can see a raccoon right now. He's sitting down there eating seeds. So, that shed right there. Now, this is Secret 2 Pro Orange. So, guys can know. Um, see that down there? That's the shed. Now, that's very, very far away very very far away so holy cow now we're gonna step it up oh my gosh <laughs> look at this there's a raccoon down there right now guys this light is unreal I think that might be turbo the high setting oh my gosh now, you guys can't see too, too well because there is a lot of fog. But I can see the tree line. See the trees over there? Pine trees? Look how bright that is. That's unreal, guys. Holy cow. I wish that it wasn't so foggy so you could see the trees. But pretty much my whole entire field, this thing is a beamer. Like, it just completely beamed the whole field. Unreal. So we're going to amp it up again. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. So that was that was the low one, or that was the highest it would go. So now if we turn the light off really quick and hold it down, that's moonlight mode. So that's the lowest it goes. I had that mixed up. So the last mode you've seen before this one was turbo. But look at that. That's your moonlight mode. It can run on that. If I'm not mistaken, it said 12 days. So holy cow. Look at that. You guys can't really tell once it's past, like, right, you know, right there. You guys can't see. But I can clearly see, you know, your eyes adjust. Um, it illuminates even right in front of you. So, if, I mean, if you had this fully charged and you're lost somewhere, I think you'd be alright with this if it was a little bright out, you know, the moon or whatever. I think you'd be fine using this. Like, wow. Unreal. And only for 100 I know, I mean, it is still $100, but for $100 for something that can beam that much... Look at that. Unreal. Look. You can see the beam in the air. That's because the, you know, the fog out right now, but that is unreal. The whole field is lit up. So that's good on that. I'm not going to do the flash because there's I'm surrounded by neighbors right now and it's 1130. But trust me, I'm pretty sure it runs on turbo and it flashes. So <laughs> I don't think that'd be a good idea. So now... We are going to move on to the, which one am I going to pick? I don't know. Let me think. Yeah. I might as well do this one first since it's bigger. I'm going to do the S1R Baton 2, the red and gold one that you guys see. So let me make sure it's... Okay. So I have it turned down to where it's at its lowest setting. So here we go. Let's click it on. Let me let it focus in so you can see. Oh, also, I didn't show you, but the battery sensors on there. You see that green light? There was six battery sensors on the uh, one I was just holding, the Secret 2. So, it has, you know, nice indicators. And it will turn colors according to what it is. So, if it's green, it's above 75% or on 75%. If it's below and it's orange, it's, um, I'm not sure exactly, but it's, you know, it's between, you know, under there and between, like, a low number. And then I know it goes to red, and that's when it's almost dead. So, very cool how Olight come up with that. And they have very nice buttons. 
So, that's the first setting. This is that nice gift one that I was showing you guys earlier. Nice little, nice little beam here. Now, what I usually look for, you know, when I'm reviewing a flashlight, you're looking for how much of a beam it makes, or how much of, you know, how much, how much it illuminates. Because you can see, I mean, there's been a study done on it. Like, you can see a candle wick from 35 miles away. Yeah, they had it under certain circumstances, but you can literally see light very, very well. So, you know, when they try to say you can see it from miles away or whatever, you know, that's it doesn't really matter because you can see light very well. So what you're looking for is just kind of like a beam, you know, how much it can put out and obviously the ba the battery power. So now let's amp it up. Now that might be the highest setting on this light, but you guys can't see, but I can see that shed down there. It's actually lit up down there. So you can see very nice beam, nice little, you know, nice little spot there. Just a nice little beam. Oh, never mind. That wasn't the highest. Okay. Yep, you can sort of see it. You know, as compared to the Secret 2, you can see a lot more. But, I mean, look at this. Like, literally, this is all you need. I mean, the Secret 2 is very nice on battery and everything. And it's turbo mode and everything. It's very nice. But I tell you what, if you're just looking for something not camping or whatever. I mean, this would work even camping if you had a couple batteries. But, look at that. That's perfect. That's, that's all you need. It's right here. That's all you need. Small light like this. Beams all the way down. That's that little light, guys. This is how small it is, okay? Like, I can't stress that enough. So, let's run through the settings. So, you see? Just run through the settings. Also, turn it off. Moonlight mode on this one. Uh, you definitely can't see it on camera, but I can see it. See, it lights up my hand. It's enough. Uh, I'm going to say it right now. This is pretty much only for when you're moving in your tent. When this one's on moonlight mode. You can see it here. Uh, I'd only use this. You'd probably trip on stuff if you tried to use the moonlight mode outside. So you'd probably want to amp it up to the next level here. So amp it up. You know, that's what I'd walk around with with this one. So, I mean, you can tell the different lights from each other. You know, they have different advantages on each other. This one's obviously smaller. Not as much battery life, but it still puts out decent light. Especially if you're just walking around your house or whatever at night or whatever. So, just because I don't want to make this video too long for you guys, um, we're going to review the last light here. Like I said, the UV light, there's no use in bringing it out here. It's just a nice little addition to have your keychain. But the i3e EOS, the little pocket keychain light, we're going to review that now. So let's turn it on. There's only one setting on this, but you know, guys, like, look at this. You get this for free if you're a new customer. This is just unreal. Like, this, okay, look. Hold on. Look. I'm making sure this is just on my hand. Look at the beam this tiny thing's making. Look at that. And you guys can't see it 100% this time. But I can see it's clearly going all the way down to the shed. There is fog in the way, but I can still see the shed. This thing is all you need. Now, I, I, I'm not exactly sure on what the, you know, the battery was for this. But I just know it doesn't hurt to just swap out a AAA battery, does it? This thing is awesome. <laughs> Look at that. Like, this is a little tiny keychain light we're talking. You just have this under keychain. Look, there you go. Bam. It's instantly on if you screw it. So, yeah. I have a voice crack. Hope you guys enjoyed, though. Like, obviously. Now, if I was to pick one for value and everything all together out of all those, I'd definitely pick the, uh, which what was the exact name? I don't wanna, I want to get it correct. The S1R Baton 2. This little red and gold one. And if you're looking for more of, like, a tactical or a gun mount or whatever, or, you know, camping for a long time, or just survival or whatever. Um, I definitely picked the Seeker 2. But if you're looking for a gift or something, or just to use around, you know, you're not really serious about it, but, you know, having a nice little light's, you know, something you want, um, I definitely recommend getting the red and gold one. So, 
like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's another light test. Um, you know, I don't want to make anyone mad with doing another one, you know, so quickly. But these lights really do help the channel, and I just can't turn it down because they make very good lights. But like I said, if you guys are interested in any of the lights I've shown, or any of the bundles, you know, you have the dates now and everything. Um, if you use the affiliate link down below, I do get kickback from it. It's not much at all, but trust me, it adds up. Um, so if you do, please don't buy it out of spite of me getting money off it or whatever. Um, please, just only get a light if you really want it or you're going to use it. So, like I said, make sure you use the link below. Because that's the only way it will work. You know, if you go on the website on Google, it's not going to... Like a separate page, it's not going to go to me. So, it doesn't matter anyways. I mean, it's a nice light. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And let me know if you're okay with these, you know, flashlight reviews. I know I do post a couple of videos between Target Practice and Thursday now. So, hopefully this would be good. So, thanks for watching.